Welcome to my next Big Bang Theory Season 11 episode review video. Before I get into that though, pretty important, if you are caught up to the point where I am in rewatching or watching the Big Bang Theory, or you're just not entirely sure, then you definitely need to take the initiative and pay attention to the episode's title, which of course I'll mention, as well as put in the description. If that happens to be the case, you find that you're not caught up, it would be my recommendation that you don't watch this video any further to avoid any potential spoilers. This will be the Big Bang Theory Season 11, Episode 2. The title of this episode is called The Retraction Reaction, and this will be my review reaction recap after just finishing watching the episode. So we start with the gang having a meal in apartment 4A, which is, of course, Letter to Pennies, and Sheldon keeps aggravating the pregnant Bernadette with inappropriate comments, and then Leonard announces he's going on the NPR radio program to discuss the world of physics to help promote Caltech, and Sheldon wonders why the university picked Leonard until Amy whispers in his ear, uh, and then Sheldon uh, commented that the university picked the right person with a snicker. Uh, then he talks with Ira on NPR, Leonard does, and he's supposed to discuss all the exciting physics research that they are doing at the university. Uh, but he goes on about theoretical atomic particles, the squark and the uh, selectron and the neutralino, which have yet to be found. And he wonders out loud what they are doing with all their money since they haven't found anything. His comments worry the rest of the gang, whom are listening in with the dozens of other public radio listeners. A key word there, dozens. There's probably only 12 people listening to this. And then in the cafeteria at Caltech, Raj and Howard want, or yeah, Raj and Howard want to be supportive of Leonard, while Sheldon just scoffs at the guy that just uh, spoke about his favorite woman, Lady Physics. Does Amy know, know that? <laughs> Leonard feels that he is just a scientist that is just telling the truth about the subject. Bernadette shows up in Amy's new lab to have lunch with her. Amy hasn't mentioned about all the new fancy equipment to Sheldon because he would be jealous. Bernadette also hides her success from her significant other, Howard, and didn't happen to mention her trip to Haiti uh, at, and last year's big fat bonus check. She told Howard there was no bonus. Leonard is keeping an appointment with uh, Janine, uh, the Janine Davis, Mrs. Davis of the Human Resources, the one that Sheldon gave the copy of Roots to, and said that all women are slaves. Yeah, that was one of my favorite funny lines. It's it's not politically correct, but the shit was funny as hell. Uh, Leonard realizes that his interview didn't go well, but he wonders how much damage it could have done and caused. Donors have been emailing them asking why they are giving the university money if physics is such a dead end. Mrs. Davis wants Leonard to issue a statement that he misspoke and that he is confident that they will soon be making a breakthrough. Leonard interprets her request that she wants him to be lying and uh, which she doesn't think is that hard. Amy comes home and finds Sheldon hard at work on the biggest problem in physics, not solving them, just figuring out that they are the biggest problems. Dark matter, supersymmetry, and reconciling gravity, and quantum mechanics. Sheldon denies that his motivation was what Leonard had said on the radio. Amy mentions that she has gotten some new lab, lab equipment. Sheldon counters that he got some new markers that have a fruit flavor that he doesn't care for. And then in 4A, Penner, Penner, <laughs> Leonard and Penny's, Penny brings a depressed Leonard a glass of wine. No one would talk to him in the physics department, not unlike the time when he was in high school. Leonard describes his trip to the administration office and how he might get fired. No one else is going to hire the guy who said that physics is dead. He needs to work on his research and had to sell out to keep his job. And Penny actually encourages him to get on it while she walks away with the bottle of wine. While Sheldon is still working through not making any progress, Leonard comes over and asks for help with his retraction statement. Now even Sheldon is agreeing with Leonard that not all science works out. Leonard now understands why everybody hates him. On the bright side, Sheldon tells him that after 15 years, uh, he can tell Sheldon that he was right. Since Leonard might be unemployed, his minor victory is bittersweet. Later, they are writing about the Hadron Collider but can't come up with the any positive discovery to justify the cost. And then Leonard asks if he has any alcohol. Uh, and so Sheldon breaks into the supply of uh, Romulan ale from Star Trek. Penny, who just arrived, thinks it looks like mouthwash. Amy describes to Bernadette how more 
the more she uh, talked about her lab, the worse Sheldon got. And both agree that they should be able to brag about how successful they are, just like the guys do. Then they agree that they could brag to each other, though they could start a, they start a game of one-upsmanship. Leonard and Sheldon have no idea where physics is going next, so Penny tries to be supportive and ends up calling physics boring. Howard and Raj show, uh, you know, show up asking everyone what they could do, and Penny sums it up as science is dead. Thanks to Leonard and uh, the Romulus, who ale as she is uh, drinking really knows how to party. Raj exclaims that they sound like a bunch of babies and no one wants to be stuck with two whiny babies. Now, the expectant father, Howard, is depressed, then realizes that he'll never have kids and everyone is depressed. So, Penny thanks them for coming. Amy and Bernadette end up arguing whose work and careers are better and more important. Amy thinks her work will change the world, while Bernadette plans on seeing that world from her yacht. With everybody drinking, Leonard wonders what would have been if they weren't scientists. Popular suggests Howard. Penny says that they have just hit a rough patch and they need to go out and get inspired. And Howard wants everyone to go see Richard Feynman, or rather his grave, since he is dead. Next, they are wandering around uh, the cemetery in Altadena. They find Richard Feynman's grave, and Leonard comments that he used to listen to his lectures as a kid. He states that Richard Feynman played musical instruments, learned foreign languages, and just did physics for fun the fun of it and then Leonard admits that the science is only dead when they stop being excited about it to celebrate Richard Feynman's wisdom all right Sheldon said it uh, they toast him the poor some uh, Romulan ale onto Feynman's grave and Sheldon runs off to be sick and then Leonard is called back into Mrs. Davis's office and is shown the email he sent her while he was drank, drunk drunk and uh, he wrote that physics is undead like a zombie. If he came back as a zombie, Leonard would be cool about bitten by Richard Feynman. And then he goes into Leonard being having been bit uh, by a squirrel when he was uh, a kid. He finishes with a request for a ride home uh, from the cemetery uh, since Sheldon got sick. And that's what ends this episode of Big Bang Theory. So uh, it, it had a lot of potential, but I just didn't really like it that much. And I must say, watching this which technically I watched it last night, uh, I dozed off multiple times. It's not that long of an episode. Of course I went back, but I was extremely tired apparently watching that. So I'll score the episode a 7.3 out of 10. My character of the episode, yeah, I could go with Leonard. I'm going to go with Penny for this one. She doesn't win it often. She wins it a lot, but not often enough. And then, as many of you know, I actually rate Penny because Penny is the reason why I started watching The Big Bang Theory. And one of the reasons why I continued watching The Big Bang Theory in this episode I'm going to give Penny a 9.1 out of 10 because her hair looked phenomenal in this one. So you've heard everything that I have to say. Now it's your turn. If you're a fan of the Big Bang Theory and you want to help me out with the YouTube algorithm, please don't forget to Hulk smash the like button, share the video with a friend, put this video on any one of your social media platforms. Don't forget to sound off in the comment section about what your thoughts are on this episode of the Big Bang Theory. What would you rate the episode and whom would be your character of the episode? If you want to rate Penny like I do, you can go ahead and do that in the comment section. And then last but certainly not least, don't forget to hit that sub button. You're watching the video anyway. Subscribe to the channel, join the team, show your damn support if you are something special, and you never know what you're going to see on JDEV TV.